Welcome back to Oops series for PHP and in this episode we are going to see what is method chaining. Okay, so with that I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about from Laravel to view and much more things. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe and like Vitiums on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's jump to new example. I will create a new file which says bill PHP. This is for billing purpose of a hotel system. So I will firstly create PHP tag and here I will create the class called bill and if I go to a hotel for a dinner so that will be having some cost. Suppose this hotel has an offer of $20 for each person for unlimited dinner. Okay that's very nice. I want to go to that <laughs> hotel but Obviously, this also has some desserts in it and every dessert has $5 and now I have cold drink. So cold drink and let's say cold drink is somewhat cheaper than dessert $3 only. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm firstly going to create a function which calculate the dinner price so I will use public as I have used before public function and I have told you I will tell you about the public word but don't worry about this just focus on the function so public function dinner and obviously this will accept the number of person so I will simply say person and each person has a $20 bill for taking the dinner in the hotel so that means if I use this arrow dinner multiply by the persons okay so simply this and now I will create one more variable or the property called bill okay so here I will just say dollar this arrow bill and this should be plus is equal to that means if we have some value in the bill then just add to this and after this after this I will just return dollar this so let's see how we can access this so I will say here obviously there is a bill is equal to new bill okay and now I will say here dollar bill arrow dinner and dinner for let's say two person and then I want to get the bill and let's go and echo this out so go and refresh and you can see I am on the bill.php and I have this 40 here because you can see one person dinner is for $20 then we have two person this will give $40 so we have this let's suppose this person also ordered dessert so I have to create a new function public function dessert and again the number of person and here once more dollar this arrow bill plus is equal to then I will say once more dollar this arrow dessert times obviously person and again once more return dollar this okay so if I want to add the dessert to this bill I don't want to do like this this I don't want to do so if I do this I have 40 and 50 you can see if I say only dinner then it will have 40 but if I add this to dessert for two person also and then I want to get bill then it will have 50 okay so let's say dessert is for one person only then 45 okay so similarly we can create one more function for cold drink and here also cold drink and let's use another method chaining for cold drink and let's say this cold drink is 
also for one person that means two person having dinner one is having dessert and one is having cold drink and total bill is $48 so let's give me the $48 <laughs> I'm just kidding okay so this is the way we are using the method chaining system so if you have any doubt feel free to message me and if you have learned something from bitfumes you can donate one dollar or more on patreon.com or if you want to just help does not want to donate anything just do one thing subscribe to this channel and like this channel on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye